In 1874, on Lake Chautauqua, in western New York State, a local preacher put an idea into action. That summer, he welcomed a number of Sunday school teachers and their families to stay at the lake, to stay at the lake and partake in a series of lectures on religion and progressive thinking. Over the next few years, the lectures at Chautauqua became a popular summer event, drawing hundreds from the surrounding communities. This is our experience here. This is what we know of this place. So, uh, who can tell me what, what this represents? Space. I'm sorry? Space. Space! Uh, sure! You know what, I'm gonna let you have that one. <laughs> <laughs> The beginning? Where's that? Is the beginning my beginning, or is the beginning his beginning? Or is the beginning really my parents' beginning? Maybe. Sometimes. I couldn't tell you how my parents met. It was just so long ago, the beginning. One psychiatrist said it would make no difference. One said it changed everything and I was in denial. The only opera person I remember meeting was Janet Baker. Dame Janet as she is now. She and my father had sung Dido and Aeneas together. She told me all about the life of an opera singer, all the things she had to do to look after her voice. Some years ago, uh, never mind how long precisely, having little or no money in my purse and nothing particular to interest me on shore, I thought I would sail about a little and see the watery part of the world. There's nothing unusual in this. If they but knew it, all men in their degree at one time or other cherish very nearly the same feeling towards the ocean with me. Now, 
When I say that I am in the habit of going to sea whenever I begin to grow hazy about the eyes or become overconscious of my lungs, I do not mean to have it inferred that I ever go to sea as a passenger. Uh, for it to go as a passenger, you must needs have a purse. And a purse is but a rag unless you have something in it. I, I, I never go as a passenger, nor though I am something of a salt, do I ever go as a commodore or a captain or a cook. I abandon the glory of these offices to those who like them. For my own part, I abominate all honourable, respectable toils, trials and tribulations of any kind whatsoever.